Hello my spooky fam! Welcome back to another video. My name is Rocio with Sparkling Punk. So today I'm actually bringing y'all a little haul video from uh, Hill Country Comic Con 2023. Y'all know I always have to support some artists and friends, so I did! And even though I really shouldn't have spent some money, I still did it anyway. Um, and yes, I'd be looking like a hot mess because it's literally the week after Hill Country Comic Con and lazy days are... that's how it goes for like a week sometimes two after a con but I can't I can't because this weekend I'm going to the rent fair so lazy week during the week <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started because I'm super excited to show y'all all the spooky finds that I found at Hill Country Comic Con this year and something Kingdom Hearts related as well to add to my Kingdom Hearts wall so to start it off my boyfriend surprised me with this keyblade that I did end up paying him back because it was a lot more expensive than what we're used to. So if you know and you constantly ask me where I get my keyblades, my life-size keyblades, I get them mainly at comic conventions. Um, so I don't have any link. People are always like, where's the link? Comic conventions. You need to go out to the cons and be social and go find them in the wild. So my boyfriend found me the key from Hercules and it has the chain as well and I'm like I'm obsessed it's so beautiful like it is painted super nicely as well like look at it look at it all in its glory so I'm super excited to add this Keyblade to my wall. Um, it is definitely something I never ever expected to find out in the wild. It did cost us 56 bucks. Um, Keyblades have gone up. They've normally been 35, but they've gone up. So now 56, because this is a foam Keyblade. We do not hang metal Keyblades up in this house. We only try to find foam ones because if they were to fall down, we are scared that if it was a metal one it would fall on our cat and well we do not want that right that would be danger zone so this is the first thing that we got and now i'm gonna go ahead and show you the second thing i got the second thing i got is from himo michaela sewing i got a bag from her last year and it was a pennywise bag this year she has done major improvements on her bags and i will go ahead and point them out and this is why you should continue to support an artist as the years go on because their con their art continues to get better not get worse y'all so if you purchase something from an artist that might have been meh know that with time it'll get better so this is the beautiful bag it is a coralline bag it is a crossbody bag or it is like a little purse so it is an adjustable strap so this is how it looks up close she added this zipper so this is new onto her bags having a front zipper she also made them a lot more sturdier um the pocket is nice and big in the front which i absolutely love um she also changed the little um straps here these used to be made out of fabric now they made out they're made out of this like um i don't know what it's called uh but it's, it's out of a thicker material like what seat belts are made out of. These beautiful little clasps here. Beautiful clasps for the, the um, handbag portion. This is also the more expensive adjustables. Um, it's, it's all super gorgeous. And the inside too, just beautiful, beautiful work. She's got a pocket in there. And this is all handmade, y'all. So y'all should really definitely check her out. And she just used some gorgeous fabric. I don't have any Coraline bags. So I was super excited to get this. And like I said, it adjusts. So I just adjust it like this. And then it turns into a nice little crossbody. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And I love the new straps because she used to hand make the straps out of fabric. But I honestly prefer these like nylon straps better. They're just absolutely beautiful and yeah so this is my second purchase um the bag because it was handmade i think it was around 61 dollars with like tax or whatever but so worth it handmade products 
literally you could see the artistry and I love supporting artists like ugh. and I told her like I love seeing the improvements I love seeing her growth and it's just absolutely beautiful and as artists we get to connect and be like oh my gosh yes I saw someone you know with the first piece I ever made and I was just like I've improved so much since then because I feel that I have been there all right so now for the next thing the next thing I did not buy but I had an artist come check out my booth and they told me that they actually had a book because they were also vending um, called the Cemetery Tour Series, which I thought sounded really cool. I'm not a big a big reader because I'm really slow at it and I have, I have books, but it takes me forever to read them and it really stresses me out. But they went ahead and dropped off one of their um, bookmarks, uh, which was super cool because if I ever am interested in checking it out, definitely want to. And they dropped off one of their buttons so I could go ahead and check out their book. So if y'all are into cemeteries, which I am, and reading, definitely check out their book, The Cemetery Tour Series. It sounds really stinking cool and I'm pretty sure you could find out some cool stuff. So next, I supported my really good friend, which I supported him last year as well, Galactic Fish Productions, y'all. And if you know, Galactic Fish makes some awesome t-shirts and I love his work as well as prints and we have multiple prints and t-shirts of his in our house we're big supporters and um I ended up getting a little freebie from him as well because I'm such a huge supporter and we're just really good art friends so these are the two shirts that I bought from him so I bought this one that says Transylvania Tufts and as you can see that is his artwork on the shirt super stinking cool it has all of the awesome creatures on there and i just i had to get it i've been eyeballing it for a while and i ended up getting it um and then i also ended up getting this one which says be cool she's here so freaking cute i can't wait to wear this and a really good wear to, way to wear t-shirts is with like these little collars. You could attach like collars underneath to make it look like it's a collared shirt. I'll have to get the name of the collars I bought from another artist a while back. I'm pretty sure I did like an unboxing as well at some point of those, but um, I really, really want to buy more so I can add them to this. And then he surprised me with a freebie the following day which if you know i love the color green like that bright lime green and he gave me the choice between two shirts and it was the bright lime green shirt y'all like look at this shirt it is freaking adorable and just like pinup vibes and i i couldn't resist i i needed it <laughs> And yeah, and I was just like, oh my god, you know, thank you for thinking of me because it says rock it and roll it. And if you know, I am a rockabilly type girl. And I started my fashion with just pinup and then rockabilly, and then it turned into my Halloween fashion, which is still a big mixture with rockabilly fashion. So I absolutely love that shirt. And I just I love Galactic Fish Productions, y'all. Y'all really need to check him out on Instagram because his work is so awesome and I always love supporting him. I think I own about 10 of his shirts now. <laughs> so lastly, we were walking around the convention and my boyfriend found an artist. This is Cutie Pie Sweetheart's Headband Boutique. Um, they, uh, so it's a wife and husband duo so he's the artist and then she does all like the sublimation and like all of the other stuff and they made some headbands so he did wednesday adams and she attached it onto this headband i haven't opened it up but i'm gonna go ahead and open up it up right now to show y'all how it looks i honestly was obsessed with this my boyfriend ended up getting a sailor moon one and he was like do you want one i was like yes but you know which one i want the wednesday adam one so super excited about this because my hair is always in my face. I think this will be great for when I'm working out or just when I want my face out of my face, when I just want my hair out of my face. But super cute. Oh, I have it on the scene. Little Wednesday Adams there on the headband. Of course it stretches out a little bit, but yes, super happy about that. So yeah, that is all of the artists I got to support 
during Hill Country Comic Con this year. Please make sure to go ahead and check them out. And no, I did not get the name of the Keyblade person because my boyfriend ended up getting that. It was just a vendor in the vendor alley. But I at least got all of the names of the artists and I love supporting artists. I'm an artist myself and I love when other people support me as well. The convention overall was an absolutely awesome experience and I got to meet you know so many new people I did sell two of my spooky tombstone ghost itty bags which I was just like ah and I got to see someone wearing it and using it and it was just like the best experience ever and yeah and like I said I know I look like a nightmare but hey I'm a human too and I need to chill and relax sometimes too because it can be hard out there y'all literally when I work at the con I have 14 to 15 hour days um that's saturday sunday and then i do also work for about five hours the day before just prepping um that's with driving and with setting up for the convention so excuse my little messy look which i know i could be very messy in most of my videos but hey when people say goth girls are only like that 95 percent of the time and the other five percent were like this it's not a lie y'all it's for real <laughs> us spooky ghouls are like this most of the time <laughs> instagram versus reality <laughs> but anyway thank you so much for watching y'all don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see y'all next time my spooky fam bye